Hello everyone, my name is Andrew. And I'm Kari. And welcome to this Halloween edition of The Feed Take 5. Where we give you news that matters to you. In this video, we're going to discuss a recent study about the use of AI for your mental health, talk about Ryan Reynolds recently opening up about his mental health, and share some things that we love most about Halloween. Now let's get right into it. In a recent article published in Translational Psychiatry, researchers reviewed and analyzed an AI-based tool that uses natural language processing to examine mental health interventions. So how does this AI-based tool work? Well, it can facilitate quantitative study of conversation transcripts and medical records for thousands of patients instantly. It can render words into numeric and graphical representations. It can examine the characteristics of providers and patients to detect meaningful trends in large data sets. It can do analysis relating to treatment fidelity, patient outcomes, treatment components, therapeutic alliance, and suicide risk. And it can analyze social media data, and electronic health records, and mental health relevant contexts. So yeah, it could do a lot. However, there's still progress that needs to be made, but the authors anticipate that this could revolutionize the assessment and treatment of mental health illnesses like depression and anxiety. It's also worth noting that there are AI chatbots that's available that can actually kind of serve as therapy sessions. This could be helpful for those who lack access to actual therapy. However, there are many people out there that have mixed feelings about the idea of AI chatbots replacing actual therapists. While AI chatbots can help support your mental health, we recommend that you still seek help from an actual therapist and healthcare provider. Because at the end of the day, a complete AI takeover does sound spooky. Speaking of mental health, let's pass it over to Kari. Hollywood actor Ryan Reynolds, known for his talent, wit, and charm, recently got deep and personal about his mental health. Let's dive into the details. The actor revealed that he's found himself spinning out of control at times before noting that he's not always great at maintaining his mental health. Um, how do I handle my mental health? You know, not always great, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, um, I, uh, I, I certainly uh, uh, have my own little rituals and those kinds of things that help me stay grounded and kind of, um, you know, keep my mind from spinning out of control. But, um, um, you know, sometimes I'm really good at it and sometimes I'm not. But yeah, I do a lot of the things that you probably do as well. I meditate, I kind of take time for myself, I try not to... I tend to overbook myself when I'm sort of spiraling in that way, so I, I'm sort of aware of that stuff and I manage it as well as I can, you know. Reynolds' honesty sends a powerful message, normalizing mental health struggles and reminding us that no one is immune to them, regardless of their fame or success. Ryan Reynolds' vulnerability can relate to many. Once you are aware of your mental health, you can better equip yourself to push through the dark days just like he did. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health issues, please reach out to a mental health professional or a helpline and check out selfc.org for more resources. You are not alone in this journey. Now, let's head back to Andrew. Thank you, Kari. As you know, it's spooky season, and this time of year can be a comfort season for many to take their mind off their daily stress and events happening around them. So let's find out what our youth advisors love most about this time of the year. What I like about Halloween is that the fact that so many people come up with some really cool costumes and some of these costumes are really creative. I feel like one of the things I like about Halloween is that it inspires your creativity and brings out the best in people, like the creative side. My favorite Halloween memory to this day is definitely dressing up. It is a time where I'm able to forget like all about my school worries and be whoever I wanted to be. What I love most about Halloween is trick-or-treating because growing up in Harlem, I've always felt like I built a sense of community with trick-or-treating on the like delis, beauty supply stores, and like even the Chinese store. Favorite Halloween candy has to be Jolly Ranchers. One of my favorite candy ever. It just tastes good. The flavor is really good. And I try to collect as many Jolly Ranchers as I can. My favorite Halloween movie growing up was definitely Girls vs. Monster. Seeing that as a little girl, I was able to kind of feel like a little grown up because although it was a Disney movie, it still, that movie still spooks me sometimes. My favorite costume would probably have to be the Spider-Man costume I wore when I was like in pre-K. Because I've always seen this picture of me like doing this with the Spider-Man costume out like in the kitchen. And I like that picture. And that wraps up this Halloween edition of The Feed Take 5. If you want more content like this, or if you're young and want to find tools, resources, and community, then visit selfsea.org. We hope you all enjoyed the P Take 5. Be sure to tune in next time and remember to stay spooky and enjoy your Halloween.